question reading pose, this is tell it to someone. First question is from uh, Kwame River. I've gained a lot of weight recently. How do I trim to my having a more slimming beard? Well, what you've got to do is you've got to cut right into the subcutaneous fat. It hurts somewhat, a lot, a lot, and it leaves scarring unless you unless you get a, a proper plastic surgeon to um, do it. Or you can just play a whole heap of Pokemon Go and you'll lose that much in weight. Next question is from Uber Gooba. Um, Waldo called, he wants to know, can he have his shirt back? Yeah, no, uh, well, he can come and get it. He can come into the real world and get it. Because he can, you know, his fictitious little, you know, just standing next to that guy with a ladder. He's always, there's always some guy with a ladder there. That's how he gets around, he just, he just climbs a ladder somewhere. And then, ooh, ooh, we can't find him. He's gone up the ladder. Look at the ladder, look at the ladder. Now look right next to him. That's him. That's Wally. Unless he's like not wearing the shirt. Because that's how you, you recognize him. And then somebody else is wearing a similar shirt except it's pants. And you get fooled. Well, I'm not getting fooled. I know exactly where Wally is. He's in that book. Next question is from uh, Kwame River. I was told you were cast once as a Marvel Universe supervillain. Is this true? Yes. Uh, actually, it was Waldo. I mean, I, I, I did do a really good, a, a really good audition. I, I'll show you. I'll show you. And that was my audition for 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 Waldo. We call him Wally in Australia because you know. Waldo just sounds a little bit, you know, you know, uh-huh. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, I, I auditioned for him and uh, then Seth Rogen took the, the thing and made it into an actual film instead of, like, instead of my own head film, which, which I auditioned and passed the role. I was upset, kind of. Well, I didn't know about it. I didn't even know I had the head film in my head either until I made it up. <sighs> Empirical Mind asks, uh, Dear DT, I fear Hillary Clinton might have been abducted by aliens and replaced by a reptilian or a hologram. Stories surrounding her have gone very x filesy recently. Uh, what are your thoughts? Oh, hang on. Thoughts. You, you want to, me to say the thoughts? Out loud. Well, of course, uh, Hillary Clinton um, was always a reptile or a, hol a, a reptilian or a hologram. Um, so it, she wasn't replaced by those. They what they actually did was they took her from uh, 1991, before she was, um, you know, Mrs. President, and um, then she, they re they. Uh, replaced her with a reptile and a hologram, but they let her age and then she got put back into her own body and stuff and now, you know, just before uh, just before the whole Bernie Sanders thing and uh, that's why she started looking all confused sometimes because she was taken out of her body and put back in her body and in between she was a reptilian holographic overlord insectoid thingy and that's why you know, all of that happened, all of it, all of it, the whole Clinton presidency, then the whole Bush presidency, and then part of Obama's thing, um, you know, while she was Secretary of State, and now, yeah. I, I, I prefer the, I prefer the, um, Bernie hologram. He's great. He sort of glows. And the glow is of warmth and trust, rather than of poisonous thermonuclear radiation in the case of Clinton and, um, you know, fraud and rape when it's Trump. Next question is from um, Rudolf Bondervangerau. How much hair can you pluck out of a scalp on a ginger before he is no longer a ginger? Ha! That, that, that is not exactly the right question because, of course, in any ginger, um, the ginger all goes down all the way through the skin, through the subcutaneous fat that got trimmed out by uh, the slimming beard and into the lack of a soul. 
you just can't get rid of the ginger no matter how much you try and rub it into your uh, um, greyhounds uh, hindquarters I hear that that's what they do to greyhounds to make them run faster something about ginger in their hindquarters I'm not saying anymore they already closed down the New South Wales greyhound industry because of that and other things like steroids I think apparently allegedly and animal cruelty and the fact that they had great big greyhound racing tracks that the government owned and wanted to sell uh, right on really expensive land that they could have gotten a lot of money for for their rich friends who would have bought it up cheap and sold it up expensive after they built flats and stuff on it now I'm asked the next question for the day am since I'm an evil soulless bastard will I ever find my one true soul mate well okay you've got to find somebody who is soulless therefore you've got to find somebody who is either ginger or human because she, there, there is no such thing as a soul because you know God doesn't exist and if God doesn't exist nobody has a soul it's all, all just a uh, uh, your consciousness is simply a uh, a uh, byproduct of the um, stuff that's going on in your electrical brain stuff and electrochemical brain stuff really if you want to get technical anyway um, so what you got to do is you've just got to um, you know just go, go on go on special websites for soulless people which is everybody and um, find somebody I, I don't know actually I haven't found that special somebody either and you're not my type not in that way you, you, you're, you, you're nice you're nice but not not I'll let you down easily and gently using some encouraging words which um, you'll doubtlessly um, dub over later next question is from KB have you ever seen your own skeleton? If so, what colour is it? Well, um, it, it was white. It was in my, um, you know, it was in my uh, x-rays. It was kind of white-ish. It was white. I, um, I, I'm a little bit white, if you could not tell. Well, um, apart from the black and white, the red and white shirt. It's not black and white. What am I saying? It's not black and white, it's red and white. Uh, <sighs> I'm going to just give up this question. Ask the next question. Wombat and Charlene. How come we only get to see the white side of the moon if it is living under apartheid? And if so, why do Nazis live there? Well, they had to get out because of, you know, you know, the, uh, the invasions from, you know, the, the Soviets and the, and the Americans and the British. And, and then the French started rising up and then the Polish rose up, but they got stomped on by the Nazis because the Russians let them. Anyway, so they got some V2 rockets, apparently, and then they shot them at the moon and landed there and are living there ever since, if you want to believe certain conspiracy theories. Or else they are simply alien hologram of overlords um, in, in lizard suits or something. I don't know, I made that up without any, uh, without any reference to reality, just like Alex Jones. Wombat and Charlene asked the last question for today, finally. How does one catch a ride on Nibiru? Well, of course, Nibiru is, uh, is that planety thing, um, device, uh, whatever, where the repti reptilian holographic overlords uh, come in and wipe us all out. Um, this is rather convenient, actually, because um, once, because the Earth was once uh, you know just a lone planet without any moon and stuff and what happened was Nibiru came and uh, hit hit the earth and then the Nibiru sort of went out into space again and earth sort of had to coalesce again um, and uh, and we now know Nibiru as the moon so all we have have to do is um, pretend to have another space race in order to get to Nibiru um, but we can't actually leave because Nibiru is stuck in a uh, in one of those orbits where one part of Nibiru is facing Earth all the time the entire time uh, but not the other half which is like inhabited by Nazis of course um, 
I think I jonesed myself out. I have no idea what I just said. I probably won't have any idea what I just said. Um, even after, even even after I've finished editing. Really. Uh, um, but I did, will put a dovetail question in right here for anybody who really likes to answer the dovetail questions. Of course, you could answer, ask your own questions uh, down in the bottom place where where the pants go. You could do that. You could do that as well as doing a dovetail, answering the dovetail question. Or you can just answer the dovetail question without doing it. Or you can just, you know, stop watching and click off to go to the next video and subscribe on my channel. Well, most of the people watching this are actually subscribed to my channel. It's the other stuff that uh, brings, brings the boy to the, uh, the, other, the, the other milkshakes, which aren't milkshakes. I didn't shake any milk. I'm dangerously talented. I don't have a full sign off. Okay, that was fucking weird. What happened there?